backing up your QuickBooks file, the importance of that can't be overemphasized. If something happens and you lose a hard drive, your computer breaks, uh, it gets stolen, whatever it might be, you could potentially lose all of your accounting records. I mean, it would be, I've known people where that has happened only once or twice, but wherever it happens, it's really a catastrophe. So it only takes a moment. And here's how to do it in QuickBooks. We go to the File menu, Backup Company File, and Create Local Backup. There are options if you have um, if you use the online service, but we're just going to create this file on a local drive. So I get this window, Create Backup. Local Backup is what I want, so I'll click Next. I do want to save it now, so again, I'll click Next. Here I have to tell QuickBooks where I want to save the file. So right now it's pulling up desktop is one option that I might choose. I'm going to save it to a flash drive, which would make good sense. It's separate from my computer. I could take it home with me. I can put it in a safe place. And if my entire computer is lost, I still have all my accounting records. So I'm going to choose this USB drive here, drive F. Here is the name of the backup company file. QuickBooks suggests a name. It uses the name of the company and then adds the date and time onto the end. I'm good with that. That seems like a good uh, plan to me to use that name. So I will click Save. And it takes just a moment to go through the process. It's a fairly small file, so it's pretty quick. It may be um, a bit longer on uh, your computer. Even if you are on a network and the network backs up everything uh, as part of an, op uh, an automatic system, it's still a good idea to every once in a while use the process in QuickBooks to back up the file. There's a number of procedures QuickBooks goes through as far as checking the data and so forth when it does that to make sure that everything's okay. And it's done. All I do is click OK. Now, if I were to look at that drive, there is my QuickBooks file, my QuickBooks backup file right there. And it's probably a good idea to keep two or three in sequence before I start deleting them just in case there's an error with one. But that's how it is, or that's how you do it. It's very simple. No reason uh, not to. Sometimes we procrastinate, but boy, if we ever reach a point where we need it and we don't have it, we will really be sorry. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope that's helpful.